Yeah. Okay. Lunges them, lunges them, lunges them. All right, man. Sit there. Try out. All right. All right. Okay. Do English. American. Do it. Do it. Say. Hey there, good morning. This is Ujitse, if I'm saying that right. A parking lot, as you can see. And I have a uh, car over here, my trusty Renault. And for those who haven't uh, followed my past uh, few videos, and I'm on a uh, Serbian road trip. I rented this car in Novi Sad and drove around the uh, past couple of days and then stayed here for two nights. And now I'm getting uh, going once again. I'm going to go up to Stari Grad, which is the uh, old town here in Ujitse, just a uh, 10 minute drive away. And it is just like hanging on this uh, mountain. It looks really intense, it looks really cool. So I'm going to uh, get started here, drive up there and then uh, keep on cruising and go see lots more of incredible Serbia. So let's do it. And so if you come visit the Starigrad of Ujice, then I highly recommend just uh, parking down in town and then walking up because it was a pain to turn around up there and uh, basically no parking. So it is not exactly uh, set up for tourists, but it's going to be worth it. So they're obviously doing some renovations on it. And over there, you can see a road. That is the way that I drove in two days ago in the evening. And you can see the old town here from that road and it is quite a magnificent sight to see how it's just clinging to this kind of ridge here. Yeah? No, no, no. No, no sorry. Please how? Go to ah, the it's closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, too bad. All right. Okay. Well, that is a shame. I guess maybe this would be a uh, parking area normally. So it is closed for renovations. Well, I'll post some photos.
interesting road here in which you drive along train tracks for part of the way across that bridge. I am on the uh, quest for a monastery. Google Maps is kind of all whacked out because of uh, construction and like road closures and stuff. So there's a uh, main highway over there, but Google Maps directed me to go on this way. And I'm not sure if it's uh, accurate or not, but uh, we'll see. Little uh, shed up here. I'm going to assume that uh, this train track is not in operation anyway. I'm not going to stay here for long, but uh, let's just kind of take a look at this uh, little shed. I guess maybe it's a controlling uh, shack for the tracks or something. Yeah, not much to uh, see here. Anyway, I will be getting to a uh, really cool monastery by the sounds of it in some sort of a gorge. It's not that far away if I can just get there. And so I made it to a monastery. This is actually not the monastery that I was trying to get to. It's still down the road. We'll see if I manage to find it with the uh, wacky Google Maps, but... There is this gorge here, the Ovka Kabak, something like that uh, gorge that uh, is along there. The road goes through it, and there are various monasteries, Ovchak Kablar, I think it was, and there are various monasteries through here that apparently were established as a result of monks fleeing from Mount Athos in Greece. That is a uh, region of Greece that is basically reserved for these monasteries that you have to hike to. Only men can go there because it's all uh, monasteries with only monks. And you hike around through this kind of remote wilderness area and then come to these monasteries and apparently you can stay there. When I was 18 years old, back in 1990, then I came to Europe for the uh, first time, my first uh, traveling trip, and I read about the uh, monasteries there at Mount Athos and was considering doing that adventure hiking around for a few days and uh, staying in those monasteries and ended up not uh, doing that. But I guess they were fleeing Turkish invasions and left that area and came up here for some reason and established these monasteries through this gorge. And so I just saw a sign for this monastery about a kilometer off the road. And so I decided to stop and take a look and uh, we'll see if I manage to see a couple more as well. But it looks like it is open. As you can see here, nobody else here and so, let's find out what's going on. All right, somebody's here. Oop. Not sure what that building is there. It looks like it might still be under construction. And I guess this is the main church up ahead. Maybe I can't go inside. If you saw one of the last two videos, then you will know that inside some of these monasteries are absolutely incredible frescoes. Very colorful, depicting the life of Jesus and various other, uh, I guess, biblical characters. Oh. And this is obviously some sort of the original stonework, maybe from the original monastery that was here and then this was destroyed for who knows uh, what historical reason and then it was rebuilt because uh, this looks a lot more modern. Okay, well, that gives you a little idea, anyway, of 
the monasteries of Serbia. What a mural there. So this is the uh, small city of Chachak, something like that, that I just saw on the map and wanted to uh, stop in and take a look. Another just kind of typical uh, Serbian city, very bustling. And I think that I am uh, illegally parked, so I'm going to make this uh, quick, but right down here is the uh, kind of main walking, dining street area. So just go show that really quick. That's a trippy one there. And so no luck finding that other monastery. It was like across the river and it was going to be really convoluted to get there, but uh, at least I saw one of those uh, monasteries in the gorge there. And there will certainly be more in the course of my explorations around Serbia. So I guess this is that uh, street with all the restaurants. I think this is the main square of, there it is, Chachak, but in the uh, Cyrillic script. As I mentioned in a previous video then, here in Serbia, they use both the Cyrillic and Latin alphabets. Right from here I can see, you know, Latin there, pizza, piccolo, stoma, tolag, and then on that little, uh, snack a popcorn thing it's Cyrillic and here we go Chachak Satsak in Latin it's C-A-C-A-K So I'm going on a wild goose chase here to a fort that may or may not exist up on this hill. I was uh, driving along, saw a sign for, now I forget what it's called, but there was a sign for a fort and then I looked on my Google Maps and it directed me over here. The signs were leading in this direction and then just no signs, no parking lot, nothing. There was just a dirt road going up the hill into the trees here and I decided to give it a shot and uh, see if it works. Make up for the failed fort attempt earlier. So let's see what happens. So a, a good tip when walking along roads with no uh, sidewalk or shoulder to walk on or anything is always face the traffic so that you can see what's coming at you. And so let's find out if uh, Google is right or wrong on this one because apparently it is just up the hill there. That is a steep hill and a super steep road here. But it looks like a short distance so give it a try. And I just remember the name of the fortress, the Grabovats Fort.
this doesn't seem to make much sense, but uh, I'm going to try this because it wasn't showing the uh, thing as being that far that way. I have hope. This happened in Croatia once. I was trying to find this old town and I ended up on this little path and was like, this doesn't make any sense. And then boom, lo and behold, this incredible old castle. So I'm holding out hope that that might happen here. But uh, it's not really looking good. So look at it, it shows it as being so close, basically right up there. But this has just got to be wrong. Jereningrad, Grabovats. And there is a picture of it. And there were signs about it. That's how I ended up coming here to begin with. I hadn't heard of it until I saw the sign and thought, okay, fortress, let's go give it a try. So it's got to be somewhere around here. But there were like signs along the road, like three or four, getting me in the right general direction that also happened to coincide with uh, what Google Maps was saying. And then there was just no more signs. And this just makes no sense. I mean, this is getting pretty spooky, obviously. And end. Uh, it has just been one of those days. The failed fortress in Ujitse, the failed monastery attempt, and then the monastery that was closed. I guess I'm going to abandon this mission because, you know, I could be wandering around in these woods for who knows how long. Trouble done! Trouble back! Grabovats! Grabovats is down! Yeah, here. Uh, Just straight. Yeah. I see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I went up the road a little bit further, wondering if it might be up there. Apparently it's around here. Here come the tractor guys again, so I'm going to uh, wait and ask them. Watch them say, it's up there! Yeah. Okay. Langsam, langsam, langsam. All right, man. Sit there. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. To English, American, USA. I'm going to go again. Hold on. I understand. So, Serbian? Yeah, Serbian here. But I'm going to stand. 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 Yeah. Finally, I found some ruins. Right in the middle of a town that I'm going to stay in tonight, and I've forgotten the name of the town, like Buchanar or something. And so I booked something on booking.com, 20 bucks a night for a uh, room. I'll show it in just a couple of minutes. But uh, I was just driving there and saw this wall and was like, okay, gotta show some ruins in this video now that they're right in front of me finally right in the middle of a town. Must be part of the uh, old town here. Nice little remnants. And a uh, pretty church up there too. The sun just going down. It's been an interesting day for sure. Didn't really go as planned. I didn't make very much progress. 
It's probably only two hours to Uzitse. But I saw some uh, unexpected stuff along the way. And tomorrow's another day of the Serbian road trip. And definitely not uh, appropriately dressed for being in a church, so just to show the outside. Pretty nice. I really like the style of construction. The color of the bricks there and those designs are really amazing. And more ruins. This is obviously the site of the old town of the city. Wow. Pretty cool. That's basically what I was looking for when I was hiking up that uh, road in the woods was something like that, just like sticking out of the trees. So, found something. And so I knew nothing about this town as far as what there was to uh, see here. It was just on the way to where I'm trying to go and that I thought that I might get to today, but it's another two hours down the road and it is one of the most incredible things to see in Serbia, I guess. So I'll get to that tomorrow.